amid this uh, this this COVID nineteen situation, uh, the DOJ is tr- trying to get emergency powers. Uh, basically, um, they want to pause all court proceedings during an emergency, uh, which would mean that if you are arrested for anything, uh, or have have been arrested uh, for anything uh, in the midst of this. Uh, you can't have a trial to seek release. So you just you're you're just guilty, and then you remain guilty, and there's no habeas corpus involved, uh, because the courts have decided that that's what they need to do. And uh, so this is technically unconstitutional because habeas corpus is a constitutional right. Uh, and uh, if the proceedings are paused and you're in jail, then you just stay in jail. That doesn't, that's, what the fuck? Like, if you, it, how, how is it that a system that constantly tells people that they need to be safe during this time of crisis is just like, yeah, but we're going to do a bunch of shit that's the opposite of that, though. But you guys, but don't, but yo, don't you dare. But don't you dare. Because, because we'll get you. We'll get you. I don't think jails are, again, we talked about this a couple days ago, is like, I don't even think, like, county jails are probably the most sanitary location, you know, like, that's, and and this continues to push this narrative that we are guilty before proven innocent. That's what this does. If you're going to, if you're going to pause proceedings, um, Look, if you're going to pause proceedings, then fine. Um, put these people on a probationary period, I guess. You know, with with uh, with with limited interactions or something. Because I get it. You got to go through the system, whatever. But this is not the system that uh, is is. It, it's just illogical to maneuver a system like this, where you're just like, oh. You got arrested for something and you're going to be in jail and we had a trial plan for you. But now all this other stuff is going on. So you can just stay in jail is completely. It doesn't make any fucking sense as to why this would be this way, why the system would operate this way Um, to get them home. Right. And and just give them limited interaction. I don't know. Try maybe a temporary house arrest for the situation. Um and and figure out figure it out that way but 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 let's just keep them in jail let's let's not provide them with with a trial to prove their innocence um and by the way you shouldn't have to prove somebody's innocent because it's innocent before proven guilty not guilty and then prove to us that you deserve your freedom it's an extremely backwards way of looking at the law So, this is pretty dangerous. This kind of puts push, pushes us further into the um, the the realm of uh, what what the the intelligence community has been convincing us of, uh, which is that we are uh, we are absolutely guilty uh, in their eyes of everything that they have conceived that we are guilty of, right? And it does and and it's not up to them to prove that guilt. It's up to us to prove our innocence. Um and uh and you know, their their innocence the the they will only accept what they feel like they need to accept as a uh gesture of innocence. And uh and if you're going to if you're going to pause trials the way that they're they're talking about now to give emergency powers over to the Department of Justice, um, this is uh, this is a bad precedent that we're setting. Because you could just consider something a state of emergency now uh, and, and basically say, well, we're going to pause all these trials and keep these people in prison. Um, you know, they can, they can adjust this law any way that they want. So keep, keep your eyes peeled for 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 some of that bullshit um and uh and look i i think you know we should be speaking out against things like this um 
giving giving this much power over to the Department of Justice, giving this much power over to just one specific area, uh, it's it's a slippery, slippery slope, and it can lead to some pretty authoritarian things very quickly. I mean, not that it hasn't already. Um, the, the the state of uh, the American surveillance state is is pretty much authoritarian. Uh, Vault seven. Walt Seven was was uh, 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 information that was leaked by WikiLeaks and Julian Assange that proved that the CIA was using uh, all of our optical devices to and uh, and audio devices to to spy on us, and uh, and they were like, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, because because we have to make sure that you're protected. We uh, we were fine. We were fucking fine. Yeah, but what if you weren't, though? That's why we need to keep an eye on you fucking all the time, right? The Panopticon. Uh, the Panopticon is uh, is basically like a tower. Uh, the first way that it was described was it's a tower um, that would... Uh, you'd never know who was in that tower, and it would, it would have a way to watch uh, the entire prison yard or city or, or, or whatever it was meant to keep an eye on. And, uh, and it was really, you know, uh, like it would fuck up your mental health a whole bunch because you never knew who was in that tower. You never knew whether you were or were not being watched. So it would like goof with your head. Uh, so everybody kind of acted a very certain way of like, okay, we're following the rules. Everybody, oh, don't, okay, don't, I um, can't, tr what if this guy's a bad guy and I don't fucking, you know, like, there was a lot of mistrust in that society, uh, and uh, and we're there, and we purchased it. We purchased we purchased our own panopticons, you guys. Uh, they're they're basically using that as a, as a way to keep a, keep a, keep an eye on all of us, to make sure that we're innocent, to make sure that the innocent is protected, not to uh, to spy on us and fucking treat us like we're criminals. Why would you need to spy on us? Unless you think we're guilty of something. And again, it needs to be proof of that guilt. Well, there isn't any proof of the guilt. Most of us are just living our lives the you know, on a on a pretty average basis. Nobody's doing anything. The only reason the way you would need to do that is to spy on private conversations to be like, aha, this guy doesn't believe it, that the intelligence community is is doing them good. And then, you know, you go and do unconstitutional things under the guise of safety and protection that and that's what the DOJ is going to to veer into here is by is, is by claiming what what emergency powers they need during any sort of a crisis um, and and putting a bunch of people in prison that don't need to fucking be there that have that that you've just deemed as guilty instead of letting them go through an actual trial hi everybody thank you so much for watching this video uh, I really really appreciate it um, I'm going to be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day, uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to uh, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate that's r-a-m-a-n noodlescomedy.com slash donate there you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons patreon bandcamp and even paypal uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned paypal venmo cash app uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, and that's if you have the means to do it. I understand that we're all struggling through this time, 
Uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free. And like I said, will be up every single day. And a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out. Uh, hit it hit it up on your social feeds, on, on, the, on the Twitters and the, and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Just share it around. Tell, it, tell as many people as you possibly can, uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel. And once again, make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that like button um, and get, uh, get new eyes on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, I, and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated, um, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot, and it helps. Every little tiny bit helps in, uh, in, 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 the, in this time of, of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.